Thank you, Graham, for joining Game On Magazine at Cricket South Africa's Center of Excellence in Pretoria. Let's start off with, uh, how did you get involved with cricket? Thanks, Dan. Thanks for having me. Um, well, I was very young and, you know, me and my dad love sport and he just decided one day, like, take me to the garden. And I guess we used to have massive garden cricket battles and then I went to primary school and then just from five years old onwards, I just love the game and I love sports, you know, so. So you, went to, you went to Pretoria Boys and you played a variety of sports including rugby. Why did you decide to focus on cricket as a profession? Well, I, was, I thought I was always a little bit better in cricket than rugby, but um, when I was in grade 11 I got um, injured with rugby. I tore my rotator cuff in my right shoulder and that, that made my decision for me. So. You've represented Northern Gauteng at almost every level. Let's talk a bit about the school school level and under 19 level at, at, at Northern Gauteng level. Well, in my years, it was always competitive, you know, um, but it was, it was so, so awesome, especially at school and at under 19 level. I mean, Boys Eye was a great school. It, it just gives you a base to, to represent your province at the highest level. So, yes, it was really awesome. At school level, you have a lot of festivals such as Michaelmas and the Coca-Cola Kaya Mojola Cricket Festival. Does that do a lot for the development of cricket? I definitely think so. It's where you groom and where you get the next generation from. Um, it's, a, it's a big test. It's five days of cricket in a row, so you get um, exposed to that. Um, so it's, that's how it is in the real world. You know, you play five, times out of, five days out of seven days. So it's, it's a start. It just brings you up like that, so yes. After school, you, uh, you joined the University of Pretoria as well as playing for the SA Under-19 teams. Talk, talk us through those experiences. Well, you know, I played SA Under-19. Um, it was an awesome experience. And then from there, I came to Tuck expecting to play first team cricket, which I got a shock, you know. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a real world. You still have to build yourself back up into you know, getting into the first team. So it was a tough little period for me, but it was awesome in saying that as well. Well, you were playing for the University of Pretoria, did you study? I started studying and then I started representing um, Northern Gauteng in um, first class cricket, which was difficult for me to keep on studying, you know. And during that time, I went overseas for a period of time, so. Where did tough. you go overseas? I went to Amsterdam for three years and then um, last year I went to Lancashire for another year. So I've been overseas for four years from being out of school. If you had the opportunity once your cricket career is over, would you, would you consider going back to study? 100%, you know. Um, I have always thought about that. Um, I have a big interest in owning my own gym um, and doing like a Jim Jones type of thing. So yes, I'm definitely keen to study. How did, the, how did uh, playing for the Titans come about? Well, obviously, like I said, I um, represented Northern Transvaal in the senior level, um, Titans B, basically, and then from performances, doing well, you know, putting pressure on the coaches to pick me. Uh, that's how I started becoming a Titan. You've been playing for the Titans for four years. Talk us through playing domestic cricket in South Africa. Well, it's definitely a test, you know, um, it's, it's tough, hard cricket, I think our cricket is a great cricket, it's great cricketing um, country, we've got a great culture, so, um, yes, it's tough, it's very fun, you know, it's, it's, you do get tested and you do, you have to get better to improve, so it was awesome, thanks. You've played in all three, in all three cricket formats for the Titans, which would you say is your favourite and why? Well. The one where I, which I enjoy the most is the four-day game. Uh, not based, not necessarily because I, I like it the most, but it's because that's where you get tested. You know, it's, it's the highest form of where you get tested in cricket, and if you don't get through that, you it's it's a little bit of a it's not nice. So for me, yes, four-day cricket is fun. You get tested, and I enjoy it. Over the last four years, what have you achieved with the Titans? Geez, we've, we've, we've um, won a couple of trophies, you know, in the limited uh, overs formats, um, in the Ram Slam and the Momentum Cup. Um, we're still searching for that. Um, 
for the Super Sport Series and we're getting ever closer. We came second last year, so with our last five games now, we'll be pushing to get to the top, definitely. You've, had a, you've achieved a lot with the Titans. Have there been any bad memories? Any, any games or tournaments that you've lost at the death but have helped you to grow as a cricket player? Well, obviously, with cricket there, or sport, there comes disappointment. But um, over the last four years, I can just remember good memories, you know. I think as a team, we've gotten better, um, you know, throughout those four years. And, you know, it's so nice to be part of the Titans family because that's what we are, a family. And just to get in there week in and out, week out, and doing your business is a, is a privilege. So it's awesome. Thank you. Let's talk about your, let's talk about your aspirations to play international international cricket you it's come to light that you are leaving for for England at the end of March beginning of April why are you why are you going to England yes uh, that's correct and I'll be we'll be me and my wife will be moving to Bristol um, to play for Gloucester the county in the English um, on the English circuit the, the reason why um, we decided to move is just uh, I think we, I can get a better opportunity and some more playing time you know um, that's it. There's no other reason, you know. I, we love South Africa. We don't want to move here, but just in terms of opportunity, um, that is my, our decision together. There's there's a very big problem at the moment where sports athletes believe that their opportunities in South Africa are limited. Would you say that is the case for yourself, and is part of the reason that you're going over to England? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that at all. I think um, if you if you're good enough and you are in a team or you are in a system, um, there is fair opportunity and the, you can't blame anything else for it. I mean, you've, you've grown up part of the world where it's tough, you know, sport's not easy, um, nothing comes easy, you have to work for what you get. So, the main, like I said, the main reason for me and my wife to move over is so I can get a little bit of more game time, but that's just, you know, it's, it's just how it is. If the opportunity arises to represent England or any other country for that matter, would you would you take up the opportunity? Well, definitely. You know, um, as a sportsman, you want to um, strive to become to go to perform on the highest level and international cricket. Wow, you know, that's what that's what you grow up to play. That's what you do. That's why you play sports. So I would love to play international cricket for whoever, just to get a taste of it and to test it. We are currently sitting in Cricket South Africa's Centre of Excellence and you yourself have practiced here. Let's talk a little bit about what uh, the organisation is doing to develop cricket in South Africa, especially with, with infrastructure such as this. Jeez, like, like as we can see us sitting here, you know, uh, they got all these machines, these wonderful apparatus um, and they got the right coaches, you know, it, it is the right way forward, you know, technology is the right way forward to help guys um, just fine-tune the little problems they have with their batting, bowling or fielding. So I think it's excellent. They've got a lot of great programs here, the national academies and the women's cricket, So plus the coaches. So I think it's awesome. It's beautiful. Great. The South Africa under-19s, uh, the defending champions from 2014, suffered a very poor defeat at the, at the recent under-19 Cricket World Cup, where they finished 11th. Your thoughts on what happened? Was it just a case of a bad tournament, or do you think more needs to be done to better our cricketers overall? Yeah, geez, um, you know, it was we had a, unfortunately I had a bad tournament. Um, I'm actually playing with some of the guys who won the last one. You know, it's it's it's, it's tough for I, I was in those shoes. It's tough for an under 19 guy to um, with different pressures. You know, people handle different pressures in different situations, and going to a place like Bangladesh, which is far from home, probably for the first time, some of them have been far from home, and it's tough conditions, you know, different conditions they have never seen to before, so it's just one of those things, you know, we're going to have to take it on a turn and just use these type of facilities to groom the next generation, so, yeah. You know, at Game One Magazine, we like to capture the essence of, of our athletes, and uh, chatting to you before the interview started, you told me a pretty interesting story about how you met your wife. Would you yes. like to divulge to our viewers how exactly you met your wife? Well, um, well, I knew her. She, we, she was a fitness trainer at Tux Cricket, first team, first 11, the elite squad. 
Um, and I was a player. I was in and out of team because I was I'm representing the Titans and at Northern Senior level. So what happened was I came back from Amsterdam with a knee injury and she helped me go through the rehab process. And Mino just kicked it off during that time. It was about three months of rehab and then from there I asked her for a coffee and then yeah, I just kicked off an unbelievable story. So yes. That, that's quite incredible. It's always nice to know that you can find not only sporting success but love on the sports field. Definitely. Let's end off with uh, what are your goals, the immediate goals for 2016 and and beyond, and not just within cricket but li your life in general. Well, Dan, thanks. Um, well, for me, the go obviously now end of March, start of April, we're looking to move to England, and for me, just to you know to go enjoy cricket because that's what I love doing. I love enjoying playing cricket there and hitting the county scene overall. You know, uh, making my mark, and if it doesn't happen, it's okay. You know. I still, I'll still push, you know, I'm going to push no matter what. My goal is to play international cricket, so until I, I'm going to do everything to try and get there. And if I don't, it's fine, you know. Um, I, we got some, I want to do, like I said, open my own gym with Anna. And then with just us moving there, you know, I'm excited for us, for our future. You know, we have to start thinking about our families and everything. So, yes. Graham, thank you so much for joining us at Gamer Magazine. Dan, thank you very much.